Welcome, my phone number is a Xiaomi Mi Note 10 and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification screen on the device. So as you can see the device in front of me is already locked so to get started let's go back and uh, there's two things. Um, number one we're gonna go back to the Wi-Fi connection right here and you do want to connect to Wi-Fi so just select your Wi-Fi that you can as you can see I'm already connected and once you're connected what you want to do is then tap on add network and in the search field just type in YouTube dot com and uh, now make sure that when you press that it will make a space uh, so you want to actually remove that space and then add com um, otherwise it might not work so from there once you type it in you want to select it as I just did by just holding the word and then choosing the share button which is the chain link right here this is the second option it opens up YouTube if you get a pop-up right here just tap on OK and basically from here you want to go into the account settings about YouTube terms of service and let's open up in the browser so let's just tap on that um, skip whatever that is uh, and agree and continue cool and we have now YouTube terms of service so from here tap on the search bar because we don't really care about the terms of service we care about browser so from here we're gonna navigate into a hard reset that info website so let's just type that in and I think it made a space again yep there we go so make sure to remove the space otherwise it won't load I'm not sure why in the browser it still doesn't recognize what you're trying to type and that space doesn't have a place there but disregarding that tap on these three bars right here and go into the downloads category and in a download search field you want to search for Android 8 like so search and you only get one thing so there it is the FRP bypass Google account protection bypass an Android application up on a download scroll down up again a little bit and you will find this download link and when you tap on it we want to allow and okay to start downloading and it should download really quickly and once it's done it here doesn't even ask you if you want to open it it just automatically does it so before we can actually install it we need to uh, allow this so let's go into settings allow from this source check that on and go back and now we can install it let's just tap on allow and now we can open it up so let's do that and there we go so that's the app and from here we're gonna start off by tapping google account manager apk install and select for version 6.0 and again we need to go into settings allow from this source and go back and install and this time around we just want to go back uh, we don't get to open it up I mean it appears with an open button but it won't do anything so just tap on back button uh, and from here you want to go into bypass FRP browser sign in tap on three dots and select the browser sign in and okay and this will bring up the Google sign in page so in here you can log in with whatever account uh, you want uh, meaning Google account if you don't have one you can always create one it won't really matter once you create it you can then log in now I already have one so that's what I'm gonna use here okay let's stop on next and now i'm gonna put in a password so let's quickly do that off the screen and then i'll log in and once it logs in it goes straight back to the uh reset app and from here hold the power key and select reboot and tap that once more and let's wait for the device to turn back on
and from here you can see that we're back in the setup screen where the key difference this time around is the fact that we can progress through this setup skip so this is normally where you would see the uh, verify account and now it says account added um, works for me let's tap on next um, let's just go to the setup process fairly quickly it doesn't really matter how you set it up at this moment we'll perform another reset of the device soon after just to get rid of the previous account anyway um, just because we've seen right now that the account has been added doesn't actually didn't actually unlock the device just yet we're about to do that after the setup so just set it up quickly so we can gain access to the home screen and there we go so the device is now set up so what we want to do is go into the settings from here i believe it's under additional settings we're looking for reset but it looks like i was wrong let's see i'm just gonna search for it um Yeah, there we go so it's backup and reset right here and it's about phone um, so you can either search for it like i just did and find the option uh, or go through the about phone and then backup and reset and from here at the bottom we have erase all data factory reset uh, all files on the phone so let's just select that I can see right here it says all all files and data including accounts, contacts, photos and apps. So stop on reset phone and now we have to wait basically 20 seconds to actually perform this. Um, so let's just wait 10 here. Not really sure why this is a thing. And 10 again getting the literally same message again. Um, and there we go okay and the process will begin now this time around once the reset is finished uh, we'll be again back in the setup screen but this time around we can just set up the device as however we like and at that point the device will be fully unlocked so i'll be back once the setup screen is visible So as you can see now the process is finished and we can set up our device. Now once more I'm just going to go quickly through the setup process wasting as little time as I can. Um, but like I said before you can now set up your device as however you like connecting to network setting up all the accounts and passcodes it doesn't really matter now the device is fully unlocked. So let me just go through this really quickly skip this step. And there we go. So as you can see, I set up the device without any kind of confirmation or anything. And yeah, so the device is fully unlocked, ready to use. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.